hello and welcome back to another video in our live trade tutorial series right so in today's video we will be covering trade analytics right so uh, if you have watched our other videos uh, we have already covered how to take uh, live trades through our intraday terminal scalping terminal uh, through the option chain and much more right we have uh, also put out videos on how to integrate uh, different brokers onto stolo to take live trade and also our trade widgets on how to uh, manage your orders right so uh, all uh, on target stop loss everything is uh, already been covered and it's already um, on youtube right so in today's uh, uh, tutorial video we will be covering trade analytics right so coming to what is trade analytics itself is uh, so this whole uh, feature or uh, for example the analysis itself is to help you understand how uh, you have been trading right so uh, i i don't think uh, we have seen this anywhere at least uh, and uh, we are very uh, proud of this analytics and obviously there would be uh, many more uh, additions to it but the whole idea here is to help you analyze your trades and understand what you did uh, in those trades so that uh, if it's a mistake you would understand and rectify it and if you have taken a good trade you would um, understand why you took that uh, trade and you can take more such trades right so the idea is to uh, analyze all your trades and uh, basically decrease your losses and uh, increase your profits on taking the better trades itself right so yes coming to the analytics section itself right so you can uh, quickly access this through uh, just by hovering over trades and you can open uh, today's order or month's orders and you would come to this page here right so uh, here the trades have been taken through fire so this drop down if you have connected any other uh, broker you can uh, click on this drop down and choose that broker and you would see the trades uh, for that specific uh, date right so here uh, this is for 22nd may uh, 2024 uh, which is a wednesday you can click on this calendar icon and choose if you like to see any other day's trade right so uh, that is the idea here and the, this trade analytics you would have to uh, in order to see it you have to connect your broker and then uh, once you take live trades you would be able to sync and uh, see this whole analytics section itself right so the settings we will come to in some time so you have uh, three tabs here in the uh, trade analytics uh, section one is your overall trades and analyze right so we will go through them uh, one by one so this is the overall tab coming to the overall tab itself the whole idea of the overall tab is to give you a complete um, overall view of what you did in that specific day's trading section right so for example here uh, for 22nd may 2024 the total number of trades taken were 42 here right and you can see that the in profit trades were 31 the loss trades were just 11 right so the total net points that was captured for the day was 510 points right so out of which the uh, there were uh, 597 profitable points captured and uh, 86 points which were uh, lost right so that's why the minus 86 over here so the total time uh, um, you were in the trade were, was one hour right so this isn't total time uh, you were trading throughout the day this was the, this is the total time you are uh, in trades right so and uh, after one hour and 51 uh, seconds of trading uh, or being in trades you have uh, you have made a net profit of 46428.65 right so uh, sorry not 46 56428.65 right so that is your net pnl for the day we have also uh, showing taxes and brokerage uh, not brokerage only taxes and charges here so this uh, thing what you see here or this amount what you see here which is minus 2048 this is your taxes and charges right so this is your approximate and uh, one thing we don't do here is to include your brokerage right because uh, many brokers have different uh, brokerage uh, calculations so we have, for the time being we have not included it right so uh, that is the thing here taxes and charges we show you directly and uh, one thing uh, i want to also make clear is we have not included this taxes and charges in your net pnl right so this is uh, 
excluding your tax taxes and charges this 56000 what you see as your net pnl then you can come a little more down and you can see your overall stats right so overall stats uh, there uh, there are a lot of stats for you here you can see the total trades taken the average points cap captured average uh, profit inner trade uh, you can see average time per trade here which was 1 minute 27 second highest time in a trade was uh, 11 minutes 47 seconds and lowest time in a trade was just four seconds right so this would have been a very quick uh scalp uh scalp uh which would have uh, captured a few points right so you can also see uh in specific uh your profitable stats uh your loss stats as well for example here inside profitable stats you can see the total trades uh profitable trades were 31 uh the average time in profitable trades was one minute 31 seconds uh your uh, average profitable amount was 2084 and uh, more such right so similarly you can see for your in loss as well and uh, you come down you can see this graph right so this is your uh, trade stats uh, for throughout the day right so from uh, when you have taken trades in the day we show you uh, your pnl for that time right so for example here 918 was the first trade that i closed which uh, i was profiting one uh, 1761 rupees right so uh, that way you can see throughout the day here for example 956 i uh, my pnl was 12000 and if you come to 9 uh, sorry for uh, to 1214 my pnl was 6000 and again um, for throughout the day when you have taken trades for example here again at uh, 255 i was profiting around 35438 right so this is how you can see the um, complete stats of your trades here you can also uh, view your uh, you can view it in bar format as well where uh, again 313 uh, your what was your total uh, trade for that time right so for example 313 i had taken a trade and i had profited 10000 rupees right uh, 1214 i had taken a trade where i had captured uh negative points uh not negative points i had captured a loss of nine thousand rupees right so again similarly throughout the day you can um see your pnl so it starts from 916 and ends at 330 here right you can also see your contribution uh of that trade towards your profit right for example at 946 uh the trade I took, uh, which was profitable, has uh, basically contributed seven six point nine seven or seven percent to my overall profit itself. Right, so that way you can see the charts here. So coming to our trade section here, right. So this is one of uh, uh, an overall section where it would give you a complete idea of all the trades you have taken from morning itself right so you can see your uh, you can see which instrument you have traded uh, the type was it a call was it a put the strike price the bid the time gap and we'll come to each one of it right so now coming back to the settings you can actually uh, according to your preference you can choose which columns you want to show in this right by clicking no the column would basically hide and by clicking yes it would show you right so this is completely on your preference on which columns you want to see and which columns you don't want to see right so for now i'll keep everything uh there so that i can explain each of it as well right so let me take uh one specific trade right let me just take the uh for example here yeah let me take the second trade right so you can uh open up each trade as well so now the second trade okay this is uh this is at 326 let me just uh change the entry time from morning right so now i've just sorted the table from uh according to the entry time so now it is showing me from morning 917 to 330 right so i prefer it i prefer to see it from morning to evening right so here i'll just open a trade and uh for example here uh I taken a bank nifty uh, put of 40 uh, of the strike 48000 which was i had bought it right so the time gap here basically means how much time uh was there brief, uh, between my previous trade right so for example here my i had exited my previous trade at around 918 and the next uh, trade i had taken was at 924 right so between these two trades there was a six minutes gap right so that would basically help you understand okay if there was very little gap for example uh here 18 seconds and if you had made a loss on that trade that would 
uh, basically help help you understand that okay uh, that was a very impulse by um, uh, or uh, sell decision that you had taken where uh, just by seeing market fluctuation you had taken into a trade which you should have uh, basically controlled yourself and not taken that uh, trade in such a small time because in 18 seconds how can you just understand uh, direction right so that is the uh, idea there itself in in terms of time gap entry time exit time you can uh, directly see here for the trade and you can see the amount of time spent in the trade right so the amount of time spent in this trade was 29 seconds so it was a quick scalp so uh, uh, the trade was entered at 236.6 rupees and exited at 244.45 right so uh, and the quantity was 150 so the total points captured was 7.85 points and um, the profit made for this specific trade was 1177.5 right and the D DTO PNL which uh, which is seen as 2939.25 is the PNL up until that trade, right? So the previous uh, trade before this, which was taken at uh, nine seventeen, the total profit was one seven six one point seven five. So when you add both one seven six one point seven five and one one seven uh, one thousand one seventy seven point five, your DTO PNL will be two nine three nine point two five, right? So the uh, idea of DTO PNL is up until that trade what was your PNL for the for example after the next trade the PNL uh, was 4790.25 so that is the idea you can also see your uh, contribution so this particular trade where you profited 1177.5 uh, the contribution towards the total profits was 1.53 percent right uh, so that is the uh, idea on this table you can individually uh, analyze any um, trade that you have taken and you would get all details uh, for uh, towards that specific trade right and also as you saw you can sort it so i preferred uh, seeing from morning to evening so you can sort it according to how you like it right so that is the uh, idea here and uh, yes coming to analyze right so analyze is something where we show you uh, completely based on the chart right for okay for example let me just take a trade here right let me yes or uh, let me take yeah much uh, better so this was i think uh, around nine uh, yes i'll just come up for this trade yeah so this trade uh, which was a put of 47800 taken uh, in bank nifty where the total profits for for the trade was 1518 uh, right so uh, it basically shows you uh, how many points you have ca captured as well which was a total of 50.6 points right which is a lot right so you can also see um, this uh, quantity was very less it was just uh, 30 quantity uh, and it was traded for 50 seconds right so it was a very quick uh, scalp as well so this would have been a big movement uh, which we will see in the chart itself right so similarly how we saw before you can see your DTO PNL you can see your contribution uh, and you can see uh, your entry price and ex exit uh, price of that trade right so coming to the chart itself you can directly see uh, this on the bank nifty futures chart right for example if I just zoom in a little you can see on uh, which candle i have entered and exited as well right so for example here i had entered it um, i had entered here and uh, exited in the next candle itself right so you can see uh, this directly here and uh, as we were on the um, basically put side you can see that market did go a little more lower as well right so uh, so if to understand if you had captured the entire um, points or not you can also see it on the uh, directly on the strike chart as well right for example this is 47800 pe strike chart so you can directly see it on that chart as well right so this was a very good uh, exit uh, because uh, one thing is we had entered uh, at uh, 205.95 right and you can see that uh, the sell was at 256.65 which was at the top of this uh, 
chart basically right so this was one of the highs where it was a very good exit as you can see directly here and it was a quick scalp right so you can individually see it you can see the buy and sell for that particular strike for example here this chart is of 47800p or you can directly see it on the nifty futures uh, uh, sorry, bank nifty futures chart here, right? So this uh, would change according to whichever uh, instrument you have chosen. So if you have uh, traded uh, nifty, if you have traded fin nifty, if, if you have traded uh, mid cap nifty, this chart would change accordingly and it would show your trades directly here, right? So yes, so that is the uh, idea of the entire analytics. So in the future, what we would be doing uh, as well is to integrate journaling directly here right so your trade journal would also be uh, directly here we would be bringing in that feature so that you can put in your personal uh, notes as well right so that you can always come back and uh, learn and see what you have done in your previous trades and you can uh, see how you've been improving as well right so that is the uh, whole idea of analytics. The whole uh, thing here is to understand how you are as a trader, how you have been taking trades and how to rectify your mistake and take better trades so that you can become a profitable trader. Right. So, yes, thank you uh, so much for watching um, this entire video on trade analytics. Uh, and yes, we would uh, surely come out with more videos so make sure you like uh, this video and also comment below if you have any doubts or if you have any feature requests right so yes thank you so much for watching